Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take this photo together on the location and I will also, after taking this photo, I will show you the whole editing process to yeah to make it look like this and before we go i just want to say i'm sorry for my last video i don't i didn't know that uh, that uh, recording program didn't show any drop menu from photoshop or lightroom i did search in youtube solution for that problem and i did repair it for today's video so let's go and take the photo together and after that we will do the whole editing process i'm here today and me and sebastian for the third time and I was trying here, I didn't make any video because I didn't have a lot of time. We have two or three trees here and I was trying to choose one. You can't step here, that's why we have to stay away a little bit. I have ND filter, pen F stop. That's why I am, my shutter speed is 20 seconds. Um, F9.5, there's a lot of movement in the water, not yeah, not a very big movement because of 20 second shutter speed, yeah. I think it looks fantastic. When I walk into the kitchen, you saw the look on my face, you saw the look on my heart to get out of this place. I seen something I've never seen before, when you put on the pineapple, we couldn't be friends anymore. I don't feel there's a big movement in the clouds. What I will do, I will take two or three photos and every one of them 20 seconds and I will try to merge them together in Photoshop so I can have a beautiful movement of the clouds that, yeah, like ND filter, but more than ND filter. I'm using ND filter, but I will take five or uh, four photos because uh, the clouds are not moving so fast and I will merge them together and I will show you how, how I will merge them. Yeah, the formation of the tree with the reflection of the water and the formation of the clouds, yeah, I love that. Sebastian, uh, how many kilograms? Uh, 60. <laughs> <laughs> I can't jump on this ground. <laughs> All the setting of the photo is the same, 20 second f9.5 uh, and uh, ISO, yeah, of course, uh, 100. And the white balance is the same. I don't use anything auto when I want to do something like that uh, because, uh, yeah, when I want to blend blend uh, the photos in Photoshop, I don't need any color change or any problem with the blending. I have, as I said, a lot of photos for the sky and I will choose merge all of them or maybe some of them i will choose the best the most beautiful formation of the clouds from this yeah six or seven photos you know that pizza, still taking long. picture of the same tree but i am now i'm trying to have yeah the sun between the branch of the tree so So as you can see, this is the first photo you saw in the video and I will, what I will do, I will go back to the import. So no editing uh, will be done to this photo and I will create virtual copies so that we are going um, to make the whole editing process on the virtual copy and my original, uh, my original photo will yeah, stay as it. The first thing I will do, I will uh, edit the uh, white balance because there's a lot of blue tone I think yeah, something like yeah I think something like that and I will add just a little bit of pink make something like two f stop or one and a half of stop f stop to the exposure I will take off the highlight yeah something like that and I will not take all the shadow I yeah, I think something like that. Yeah, I will not take it all of it, no. Only something like that. And the white, just hit the shift, uh, the Alt key and take it to the right until you find this white area. That means there's overexposed area. That's why you don't, you have to go back. And the black, something like that. I don't want to have a lot of black on the shadows. Yeah, I forgot to add uh, just a little bit of contrast. Yeah, I think like this. 
uh, the clarity I like sometimes to take the clarity back N not so big only 10% so given that yeah uh, morning dreamy look and the vibrance I will add just a little bit of vibrance also and my tan curve I will make it medium contrast and I will take off this point and I will take this point a little bit uh, just like that to make just a little bit of fade to the shadow yeah I like sometimes I like to have that fade effect on the shadow just a little bit not so like this yeah, just a little bit and you can see the number here yeah five five percent or something like that and because this photo is taken in the sunrise I like to give saturation to the orange and yellow color so that you feel there's yeah, a glow in the sun or something like that so i think i will add yeah something like 25 to the uh, orange and 25 to the yellow something like that yeah and also more yeah i like it like this so in the hole i will take the orange a little bit to the left as you can see here i am affecting this color here i want to make it yeah yeah, as you can see, this is the before and this is the after. Just add saturation and yeah, to this area here. Mm, I will add also. I will add a little bit. And now what I will do because yeah, because this is yeah sunrise and I want the highlights to be as I said to be yellow and orange. I will with the split toning. I will add to the highlights. I will add something like 30 and if I click here I can see that I am here on the between the red and between the yellow on the orange place and I will make it something like 50% as you can see just just a little bit to give it yeah that sunrise feeling on the shadow I will add the um, the opposite color of the yellow which is the blue uh, I think something like 230 and also 50% so yeah something like that maybe I will go back with the shadow now this is the sharpness I will add also sharpness and the luminance I just want to yeah noise reduction I will make it something like 15 because here in the shadow area I have yeah, somehow yeah a good noise good noise and the color I will make it to 50 15 luminance and 50 color so I can yeah, take off the noise here and yeah I think that's the everything I need in this photo in every profile correction remove chromatic appreciation and constraint crop auto and after that I will add just a little bit of post crop vintage yeah just a little bit to yeah to yeah draw the eye to this place the tree and the sunlight not just a little bit and what I will do right now I will open the photo in Photoshop because I will do a lot of cleaning uh, to the lake as you can see this is the photo here and I just yeah made uh, sorry this photo here and I just made yeah some cleaning here and here so I will make edit in edit in other Photoshop I will just I will du duplicate the layer and I will just try to take some of this distraction uh, just like that I will not make this video I will try not to make this video so long. when you feel there's a place it's hard to make with spot healing uh, brush I take this here and I make like that and I select fill and content aware you have to be sure you are using content aware opacity 100% yeah something like that and also this area here fill okay yeah fill yeah you can you can 
take a lot of time here and make everything look so good but I will try not to as I said I will try to make it something like that I will not take a lot of time uh, because I don't want uh, this video to be so long so after that I will merge visible layer and what I will do right now I will show you something I do to the yeah not all of my photos some of them especially the photos with the uh, sunrise or sunset it, it gives yeah, some contrast and saturation to the color what I will do I will duplicate the layer and I will put it opacity only 20 between 20 and 25 between 15 25 something like that I don't want to make it yeah over edit and I will come here and make it overlay so as you can see it just add some contrast and saturation to the photo not so much not something like that I don't want to do Orton effect you know Orton effect which means yeah the photo looks like this I will just make it something like 20 and after that I will go to filter blur Gaussian blur and this um, radius also try not to take it something like 20, 50 or 60 yeah just this also only 15 something like that and yeah as you can see if I turn it on and off not a very big effect but it gives saturation and yeah some beautiful color to this photo so I will merge them together and I will have I will save it and I will have it in Lightroom so this would be my first photo as you can see I didn't make very big adjustment or something like that this is the second photo which I was talking about merging uh, more than one photo to have yeah, the effect of the moving clouds made of these three photos this this one this one and this one I will open I will not yeah I will not do the editing process uh, again I will just open it in um, Photoshop and I will show you how I can merge the photo together to make the ND filter effect so I will just select them and edit in open as layer in Photoshop so now I have the three photos in Photoshop and I did the auto align layer as you can see the, uh, the three photos is auto align because I like this photo the 47 I have it at the end and what I will do I have three layers I will come here and I will say 100 three layer it's 33 so what I will do the first layer is 33 plus 33 the second layer will be uh, th uh, 63 and the last layer my layer is the 100% layer I will merge only the first two layers and as you can see this is yeah without this is with and uh, this is without and just because I like the formation from this photo 47 I like the formation here of the clouds I will make a mask and now there's no ND filter effect and I will just add the effect of the ND filter to the water and to the beginning of the clouds here yeah something like that so now I will merge the layers and after that I will come to the crop and sorry to the crop I, I will make it 4 by 5 and exactly like that yeah and as I said I will do the same thing overlay 20% and I will add filter blur Gaussian blur I will merge the layers again and I will save it and this is the last photo in the video and as you can see it's made of one two three four five six photos I, I just made yeah some a little bit of adjustments and I will edit in open in uh, open as layers in Photoshop I will do the same I will uh, align the layers and after that I will play with the opacity to have the effect of the ND filter as you can see right here from Lightroom yeah, I didn't change my position or I didn't change my place all the photos here I think something like 
46 photos I did and all of the photos were for this tree and I didn't change my place or something like that and I was just waiting uh, for the best light for the best formation of the clouds you have just seen every single photo the formation of the clouds is there's something different from uh, the other photos and yeah that make yeah the whole difference here this is the six photos which I have I will do the same I have six photos so I will come here and I will say I have 100% opacity I will make it six and that is 16 and what that means is I will uh, I will start with 16 the first layer and don't forget to start from the top layer uh, the first layer 16 and the second layer would be uh, 32 and the last layer uh, sorry the third layer 16 plus 16 plus it would be uh, 48 and the last layer I will say also plus 16 it would be 64 and this layer number 5 I will also say plus 16 it would be uh, 80 and the last layer here my layer 100% so I will select these layers with the different opacity and I will merge them also so this is without yeah, the effect of the ND filter and this is with the effect on, of ND filter and if you just like the last photo if, if I came here and you can see the water here the effect of the ND filter is more beautiful after merging all the photo and also the clouds here as you can see this photo is 20 seconds but the clouds weren't moving so fast and after yeah taking six photos every one of them is 20 seconds yeah as you can see now the movement of the clouds is yeah so beautiful and uh, I will do now the same thing I will make a layer mask I will apply the layer I will apply uh, sorry I will apply the mask to the water and to the clouds here to the beginning of the clouds because because I like this formation here so as you can see this is yeah with and without the effect of the ND filter just like the last photo I will merge them together I will duplicate the layer I will make the opacity 20 and I will make it overlay filter blur Gaussian blur 50 yeah so after that I can save the photo and I will have it in Lightroom so this was the whole editing process as you have just seen it's really very useful when you don't have uh, when the clouds uh, are not moving so fast or the water is not moving so fast or when you have uh, for example four stop ND filter and not 10 stop ND filter you can make like this you can take 20 photos so if you like the photo and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and see you next week